found something shiny. Really? <laughs> He's so confused. Oh, sorry, sorry. Please don't mind me. If it's so well, it's working. You're so sweet. No, this is so Bit weirded out, but fine. So I tried making an Apex chatbot AI. Or at least, that was the plan. I was just browsing YouTube when a new VTuber clip showed up. Turns out, it wasn't any ordinary VTuber. Neurosama is actually a combination of two AI, a chatbot AI that's able to respond to chat while also go on random tangents, probably trained using some neural networks, hence the name Neurosama, and an AI trained to learn Osu through reinforcement machine learning. I'm just saying big words so you guys believe I know what I'm talking about. So I thought, what if I tried making a similar AI, but for Apex? Unfortunately, creating an AI that will learn to optimally hit accurate headshots 100% of the time will be considered hacking and get my account banned. So that idea is down the drain. Oh my god, bro! The other idea is that I create an AI that can react to gameplay as if it was the one playing. While I was watching Neurosama, I realized something missing from its chatbot AI. While it's able to have extremely interesting conversations with chat, it doesn't react to anything gameplay-wise. Like when it missed beats, I wish I could go on a date with handsome streamer ah! Handsome Jack, or fell into lava when it tries to learn Minecraft. This is probably due to the fact that the chatbot AI and gameplay AI are completely separate. So my goal is to create one that's able to react to gameplay currently on screen and possibly even communicate with randoms via voice chat. Of course, I have no idea how to actually build an AI, so I decided to enlist the help of another AI, ChatGPT, to help me code everything out. So the first thing I want to do is be able to send gameplay information from my screen to my Python bot. Some examples of important gameplay information includes health bars, eliminations, maybe the stats of kills and damage. For now, let's just code a function that can detect the percentage of health left in the health bar. In other words, let's ask ChatGBT to do it for us. So the first suggestion it has is to extract text from the health bar to get the current health value. Unfortunately, Apex doesn't really have a health value display like in some other games. So we tell it that it's just a white color bar and it somehow manages to understand us and tell us to use image processing techniques to analyze the pixels and extract the amount of white color present. And if it's below a certain threshold, we can just output low health. This sounds like exactly what we want. So we just ask it to actually write out the code for us. And yeah, I have no idea what's going on, but I'm just going to copy this into my code. Let's tidy it up by removing any unnecessary documentation that definitely won't screw me up in the future, add a global variable such that the bot will not constantly spam that its health is low, and that's our function that will tell us whenever we are in low health. However, having a bot that just tells us our HP seems kinda lacking. Players usually communicate what they wanna do and their intentions. I can suck my fucking dick. Luckily for us, Apex has a ping system which we can use to indicate what the player wants to do. This line of ping text can be extremely useful for us to extract and pass to our bot. So again, since we have no brain, we ask ChatGPT for help in extracting text from the screenshot which it so generously provides us the answers for. Use the PyTesseract library, a wrapper for the OCR engine or optical character recognition engine developed by Google. All we have to do is import that library and call one function. Now that we have the ping text, we just have to pass this information to an AI chatbot which I actually haven't created yet. Yep, I haven't started working on it. Uh, Rome wasn't built in a day, chatbots aren't built in a few hours, okay? So instead, I just found a bunch of voice clips I can use from a JRPG that my friend once told me about. Xenobate Chronicles 3 allocated each voice clip into their respective pings and now I have a bot that will basically play a voice clip corresponding to the ping that I use in Apex. More enemies! What do we do? And I also added in another function that just detects whether I'm playing Apex by just checking if my username is at the bottom left corner of the screen and another function to detect whether I've died by just checking whether the spectate text is at the top of the screen. With our Python bot set up, all we need to do now is pass the audio from the Python application to the voice input in Apex, which I did using an app called Voice Meter and a virtual cable and done. Finally, let's see how our Apex teammates react to a random JRPG character shouting commands in game. It begins. Be ready for okay. anything. Okay, okay, okay. Bro. This can't be real! Not now! Not here! 
fucking dumb man. <laughs> you encourage him, you got it. I'm with you. Count on it. Woo! Defending this area, defending this area. No matter the foe, I will face them. <laughs> no matter the foe, I will face. He says nice. I'm taking the lead. You follow. I'm taking the lead. You follow, guys. Leave this to me. <laughs> you can leave this to me. She said it. Let's go. Wait, who's that? <laughs> Wait. No way. Yeah, it, it says the line for when you're low. <laughs> nice, guys. Nice. Got the blood pump at least. This is so weird. But if I coded this out and I think it's weird, I think other people would be so much more concerned. Attack, attack. Let's have a look around, shall we? Oh, <laughs> it said the looting one. <laughs> what is the girl? Bro! <laughs> well played. Wait, wait, wait. We, have, we have something for them. Look. Nice. <laughs> Yes, I'm getting in the groove. So fun. Imagine this, but the AI will take in all the input. The AI will take in all the input and generate a varied response, right? That's that's what we want. More enemies. What do we do? <laughs> Wait, how did it see that? <laughs> I didn't pay anything. Oh my god, the damage. Help. We will lose to you. Woohoo! We're good to go, shall we? Shall we? Oh yes, we shall. Am I weird? Am I weird for like for liking the voices that much? I think I'm kind of weird. I'm attacking. First off, let's deal with these guys. Oh my god! All together now. <laughs> journey has certainly taken us to some incredible places. Oh, I'm starting to sweat already. <laughs> Not gonna lie, sounds scary. Oh, okay, okay. Things aren't looking too peachy. I think just how Apex uh, compresses the audio, it doesn't sound like exactly as how I'm hearing it right now. So that is a limitation of this. It's a different team. One up, one up. It's a different team. I'm sorry, everyone. Yes, it's perfect. We'll make it happen together. Ooh, baby. Oh no, I, I didn't have what it took. I didn't have what it took, guys. No cap. It's working. I'm able to send information from the game and basically have the Python program ingest that information and generate a response. That's basically what we want, right? Honestly, I had more fun with this than I thought. I really thought that this would be an impossible task since I only have beginner knowledge on Python and next to no knowledge on machine learning and AI. But ChatGPT was able to carry us the whole way. I know you guys are probably most looking forward to the chatbot AI part of this program so that we can finally replace this Mule soundboard. But that is definitely the hardest part of this project which will probably take a while. And yeah, maybe one day we'll have another AI VTuber like Neurosama that will not only be able to interact with chat in streams but also respond to gameplay and voice chat with other players.